In this video, we're gonna learn how nutrition affects our intelligence and discover the top three minerals that lower your IQ. Hey guys, my name is Dr. Brett Berner and I'm an upper cervical chiropractor at Foundation Chiropractic located in beautiful Lutz, Florida. Please, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so many people can get access to this video and learn from it just as you're about to do so right now. There are at least three mineral deficiencies that can dramatically affect your IQ. Generally speaking, your IQ, which stands for Intelligent Quotient, is your ability to think, learn, solve problems, and understand certain things. There's also a memory or recall component to it. Many people think that your intelligence may be finite and is something that you're born with. Well, the truth is, is that your intelligence can be trained or improved upon. In fact, your mom's diet while she's pregnant with you can also affect your intelligence and your ability to solve problems in the future. Today, we're gonna to focus on the nutrient part of your intelligence. Now, the following nutrients can drastically affect your IQ in some way. Number one is iodine. Iodine is a mineral just like iron, magnesium, and calcium. They're found in some foods, but not all. The amount of iodine in fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, and seeds depends on the iodine content of the soil those foods are grown in. The body needs iodine to make thyroid hormones, thyroxine or T4, and triiodothyronine or T3. Iodine is a crucial component of these hormones. What do thyroid hormones actually do though? They control your metabolism, helping the body turn food into energy. They maintain ideal body temperature and other important bodily functions. Number two is zinc. Zinc has a big impact on your brain function. Zinc plays an important role in neurotransmission, metabolism of brain cells, and the integrity of the brain cell membranes. Lack of zinc impairs DNA, RNA, and protein synthesis during brain development. Number three is copper. Studies have shown extremely low levels of copper in Alzheimer's patients. Research has shown that copper is concentrated mainly in the structure of your brainstem. Here's the thing, zinc and copper go together when it comes to influencing the functionality of our brain. Consider zinc to be the balancer. It is the calming, stabilizing, and relaxing mineral. It is an antioxidant. It is a pro-oxidant or a free radical, especially dopamine and noradrenaline. So what are those things that you can eat to help improve your IQ? The best foods for your IQ are nuts, vegetables, leafy greens, shellfish, and seafood. Vitamin D deficiency has been linked with learning disability, poor cognitive function, and low IQ. Iron deficiency has also been associated with a low IQ score. And let's not forget sugar. Sugar is another thing that can potentially lower your IQ. High blood sugar can affect a person's cognitive function, IQ, and memory. Diabetic individuals on average have a lower IQ score by 7.84 points. When you feed your brain neurons too much sugar, you destroy the synapses. The good news, however, is that your brain neurons can always survive on alternative fuel sources known as ketone bodies. Ketones can provide your brain neurons with the energy they need to survive. That's why ketosis is very good to do, but always consult your healthcare provider before starting any drastic changes to your diet. Thanks again for watching. Any questions at all, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.